Hey everybody, I'm Scott Weichel. You're listening to My Kind of Country right here on Fish Creek Radio with our very special tribute to Lefty Frizzell. The gentleman that I'm about to talk with knew Lefty very well, wrote many, many hit songs with him, and also wrote a lot of hit songs for many other artists. And uh, if you look in your music collection, folks, I guarantee you have some songs by this gentleman in there because he's written for literally hundreds of uh, the great stars in country music, 500 songs. He is a member of the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame. And it's a true honor to welcome him to my kind of country tonight. This is Mr. Whitey Schaefer. Whitey, how are you tonight? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Just fantastic. It's a, it's a true honor to be able to talk to you. I love your music so much. And... Uh, I, I have so much respect for the songs you've written. Well, it's an honor to be called. <laughs> well, I, uh, um, I, I want to talk about Lefty, of course, but I, before, I, before I do, I have to ask you about this song because it's, it's one of my favorite songs of all time. It's my very favorite George Jones song, and uh, you wrote it. It's called Tell Me My Lion Eyes Are Wrong. Yes, sweetheart, tell me my lion eyes are wrong. That's it, man. How did that song come into uh, being? Well, I think me and Dallas wrote that together. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I mean, but uh, that's an old. That's a pretty old song, you know. I love it, man. Yeah, my line eyes are wrong. Yeah. Uh, I think me and I think me and Dallas might have wrote that together. I, I believe you're right. Yep, I believe you're right. Well, that's it's uh, one of my favorites, man. I'll tell you what, and. Uh, you know, folks, you listen to uh, George Strait, you know, you got Does Fort Worth Ever Cross Your Mind, All My Exes Live in Texas. I mean, the list just goes on and on, and those, these are all coming from the hands of Mr. Whitey Schaefer. It's incredible. Yeah, well, it's good to talk to you. Thank you for calling me. Well, tell me uh, how you came to meet Lefty Frizzell. Uh, well, when I moved to Hendersonville, I, I actually moved about a block and a half from his house, and... Uh, I was always a big fan of Lefty's, you know, and uh, I was riding around with Doodle one morning, and he said, Lefty lives right there, and I said, really? He said, yeah, and uh, so one morning I had a couple of beers, and I decided I'd stop by and knock on his door, and uh, I did, and he welcomed me in, and had a, when we had a beer together, and, and uh, that's how we got kind of kicked off. Is that right? Just like that? <laughs> Just like that. Well, I... Uh, I mean, he might have had a couple of beers before I got there. I don't know, but he, <laughs> he sure welcome. I mean, I got a good welcome, you know. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, we became friends. Uh, I mean, I only lived about a block and a half from him, and uh, I didn't know that for a long time. And uh, but but anyway, he was. We, we, we were very close. That's incredible. What, do you remember the first song that you guys uh, collaborated on together? Yeah. Uh, I like it was That's the Way Love Goes. Really? Yeah. When we went to Dallas's cabin, and uh, and that first time we did a winning where it just kind of ride, you know, we just get away. And uh, the Dallas had this cabin up in the up in the boondocks there in north of Hendersonville, and we went up there and, and uh, got lucky, and that's the right two songs that David wrote that one, and uh, kind of go around mirrors. Oh, man. So, so how do you... go around mirrors. <laughs> that's right. You got to get that, you got to get the A in there. <laughs> yeah. I never go A around mirrors, as Lefty would say. <laughs> well... Uh, I know Johnny Rodriguez recorded the song, had a number one with it, and then some years later, Haggard uh, re- recorded it and won a Grammy for it. Um, d- did Lefty have have anybody in mind when he re- when you guys wrote the song, or did did you, did you write it just? Yeah, he had himself in mind. Yeah, and uh, we, we we went down to I mean down to a motel room down there and uh, down there one day. I mean, I mean, cause, I mean Merle was there and. Rodriguez was there, hanging around in the corner, not saying much, you know. And uh, I, I sang that song. Well, I mean, Lefty said, "Hey, why do you want to sing our, our, our new song to these people?" <laughs> and I did. And uh, uh, there was a little bit of controversy about that because John Rodriguez kind of cut that without anybody's uh, 
okay on it, you know. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Well, I mean, I mean, Lefty was going to do it, but he didn't. But, but, but he didn't snap in. <laughs> he, he didn't snap in quick enough. Wow. Well, he he of course uh, did a fantastic version of it too, and I know that Merle actually recorded it twice, and the the first time he recorded it wasn't released until they put out a box set on him a few years ago. Yeah. And, uh, then he re-recorded it in the '80s. There, and, uh, Merle was he got a kick out of that. I was I was talking to him on an interview I did with him one time, and he said, you know, he said the first Grammy that I ever won came on a song that I didn't write. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's the. That's kind of a, that's kind of a nice uh, comment. <laughs> well, there's. I was talking to Jimmy Clay Frizzell the other day, and uh, he was telling me he was out in California visiting Lefty, and uh, he said he picked up this TV guide, and he, he was thumbing through it, and Lefty had started to write uh, some of the words to the song called uh, My Wishing Room in there, and you helped him, yeah. helped him finish that. You remember that one? Pretty good old song, but it was kind of... It's not something I would have picked for Lefty to do, but everybody liked it, so he did it. Well, that's, that's great. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, Lefty could do anything. I, I mean, that I had. Absolutely, absolutely. Do you remember the last time that uh, you and Lefty were together? The last time we worked together? Yeah. Uh, we didn't work together that much. We just kind of. It kind of hung out, and uh, if the beer took hold, it did, and if it didn't, it didn't, you know. We didn't really <laughs> sit down just to actually, well, I mean, we, 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 I mean, we sat down a couple of times and just, you know, decided we was going to write one, you know, and, and we did, so, but as far as getting together just to have a big writing session, we never did do that, you know, we it's mostly over a beer. <laughs> well, man, it must have been some good beer because you came up with some good I mean, songs. Over a six pack, you know. <laughs> man, I'll tell you what. Uh, whatever it was, it worked. It worked very well. There's no doubt about it. Were you ever in on any of the recording sessions when Lefty was recording some of your songs? Yeah, I went to. Uh, yeah, I went to two or three of them, and uh, uh, I just. Sat back and, and was quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going because I didn't have much else to do, you know. Or he, you know, he was going to do one, one or two of our songs that we wrote together, you know. That's, uh, uh, did he typically do them all in one take, or did he kind of uh, did he take take a few takes on them? Or uh, no, he, he might have come back in later. And, and re sang a couple of them, you know. Uh, but, 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 but as far as getting the tracks then, we, I mean, we had the tracks then. He probably come, I think he came back in and uh, overdubbed his voice on a couple of them one time. Mm -hmm. I don't even know which two it was. <laughs> but, uh, well, me and Leslie was just mostly old drinking buddies, you know. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, we never did actually sit down to actually write, I don't think. I, I mean, I don't remember if we did, but we just got together. And then, you know, if the beer turned out okay, then we wrote something, you know. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. We, you wrote a, a beautiful song about Lefty after he passed away called Lefty's Gone. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, it didn't take much for me to write that. I imagine so. I just kind of wrote what was in my heart. And I, I mean, I wrote it by myself because that's the only way it could have mattered to me. Well, that he was a good guy. He sure was. He was a funny man. I mean, he was, uh, he had a great sense of humor. Did he? I love to hear him laugh. <laughs> well, it sounds like you guys had a lot of great times you know, together. I hate seeing, I mean, that's been. I mean, he died in 1975. Hell, that's been a long time ago. Yeah, it sure has. But the music lives on forever, you know? That's 25, 35, 40 something years ago he died. Yeah. Whitey, of, of all, and this might be a hard question to ask, and, and you might it might be hard for you to answer, but uh, 
of all the wonderful songs you've written over the years, is are there some that really stand out to you that have more more meaning maybe for you personally than than any others? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's the way love goes. Was uh, one of my favorites that I had anything to do with, and uh, Bandit Rodeo Clown, and uh, that Bandit Rodeo Clown was a good song. You betcha. And uh, hell, I can't even think of none of them now. There's a bunch of them that I I'm a little blank this morning or this evening. <laughs> That's three o'clock. <laughs> well, you uh, you recorded a couple of your own albums too in the '80s, didn't you? Yeah, I did a couple on RCA. That's uh, they were them. I mean, them great old big albums, you know. I guess it, I mean that was back before they had uh, little albums. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, CDs. Yep. <laughs> I still yeah. like my albums. They sound better. <laughs> I mean, they sound they sound pretty good if you took care of them, you know. But, but there's been a couple of mine I've wore a needle through on. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, Whitey, I want to thank you for taking time to be on my show, and, and uh, it's been a true pleasure talking with you. Thank you for sharing some of your memories. And uh, I, I appreciate you calling me. Well, I and I want to thank you for all the wonderful songs that uh, you've you've shared uh with all of, of uh, our listeners over the years, just just a wonderful catalog of music, and I want to thank you and for I'm, that. I mean, I mean, I'm hoping I can write a couple more for a kick out, you know. <laughs> well, I have no doubt. <laughs> I haven't got anything started, really, but uh, I'm, you know, if I had ideas, I know I'd be able to. I have anyway, no doubt. Well, I thank it's you. Been, it's been kind of fun, you know. I am 82 years old now. Are you really? Wow. Yeah. Well, the music, 82. the music business, the country music business has been better for having Whitey Schaefer in it. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's been. I mean, it's been good to me. Well, I certainly appreciate you taking the time, and we're uh, we're gonna keep right on playing some Lefty music here. So that's the way love goes. This is uh, written by uh, Lefty yeah. and the great Whitey Schaefer. Thank you again so much, Whitey, for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you for calling me. All right. God bless. Thank to you. Bye.